वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर दीपमाला गुप्ता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री स्कूल ऑफ साइंस यू पी राशि टंडन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रयागराज टूडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद स्ट्रक्चर एंड बॉन्डिंग कोर्स कोड यू जी सी एच जी वन जीरो टू कोर्स टाइटल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बेसिक ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इन द लास्ट लेक्चर we talk about inductive effect and resonance effect today we'll be continuing with steric effect steric effect from the fact that each atom within molecule occupies a certain amount of space if atoms are brought to close together the size of the atoms or group on the reacting part of an organic species has varied type of effect on the stability and reactivity of the species and those effect may be called steric effect now illustrations of steric effect steric hindrance or steric resistance occurs when the size of groups within a molecule prevents chemical reactions that are observed in related smaller molecules although steric hindrance is sometimes a problem it can also be a very useful tool and is often exploited by chemist to change the reactivity pattern of a molecule by stopping unwanted side reactions in steric protection steric hindrance between adjacent group can also restrict tensional bond angles however hyperconjugation has been suggested as an explanation for the preference of the stacked conformation of ethene because the steric hindrance of the small hydrogen atom is far too small in chemistry steric effects are nearly universal and affect the rates and energies of most chemical reactions to varying degrees now hyperconjugations this effect is suggested by baker nathan in 1925 it is a permanent effect operating in a conjugated system according to this effect the delocalization of sigma electrons through conjugation with pi electrons or pi orbital is called hyperconjugation or no bond resonance or baker nathan effect it occurs due to overlapping of sigma bonding orbital or the orbital containing a lone pair with adjacent pi orbital or p orbital conditions for hyperconjugations any organic species can show hyperconjugation phenomenon if it will fulfill the following conditions now first condition is compound should have least at least one sp2 hybrid carbon of alkene erene carbocation or free radicals second condition is there must be an alpha carbon with respect to sp2 hybrid carbon should have at least one alpha hydrogen now types of hyperconjugation it is of three types first is sigma pi conjugation example alkenes second sigma positive charge conjugation example alkyl carbocations and third one is sigma odd electron conjugation example alkyl free radicals next is illustrations of hyperconjugation the displacement of sigma electrons towards the multiple bond occurs when there are hydrogen on the alpha carbon this results in the polarization of the multiple bonds example in propene sigma electrons of carbon hydrogen bond of methyl group 
can be delocalized into the pi orbital of doubly bonded carbon. In the same way, the other hydrogens on the methyl group also participate in the hyperconjugation. This is possible due to free rotation of carbon-carbon bond so that the other carbon-hydrogen bond can also participate in the hyperconjugation. Thus, the propene molecule can show following resonance structure. This figure shows no bond resonance structure shown by propene due to hyperconjugation and in the contributing structure 2, 3, 4 of propene there is no bond between alpha carbon and one of the alpha hydrogen atom present on alpha carbon. Hence the hyperconjugation is also known as no bond resonance. These equivalent contributing structure of 2, 3 and 4 are also polar in nature and hence are responsible for the dipole moment of propene. The dipole moment of propene is 0.36 T. The carbon-carbon single bond length in propene are equal to 1.48 and its value is in between 1.54 and 1.34 for carbon-carbon double bond. Because the bond and order of carbon-carbon single bonds is approximately equal to 1.5 due to hyperconjugation. This type of hyperconjugation is also referred to as sacrificial hyperconjugation since one bond is missing. Next, applications of hyperconjugation. First application is stability of alkenes. A general rule is that the stability of alkenes increases with increase in the number of alkyl groups. On the double bond, it is due to increase in the number of contributing no bond resonance structure. Example, butene 2 is more stable. This is more stable than butene 1. The increasing order of stability of alkenes with increases in the number of methyl groups on the double car bond carbon. This figure shows the increasing order of stability of different alkenes. This order is supported by the heat of hydrogenation data of these alkenes. The value of heats of hydrogenation decrease with increase in the stability of alkenes. Also the heat of formation of more substituted alkenes are higher than expected. Next application is stability of carbonium ion. The ethyl carbocation is more stable than the methyl carbocation because the sigma electrons of the alpha carbon hydrogen bond in ethyl group are delocalized into the empty P orbital of the positive carbon center and thus by giving rise to no bond resonance structure as shown in figure and this figure shows hyperconjugation in ethane. In general, the stability of carbonium ions increases with increase in the number of alkyl groups containing hydrogen attached to the positively charged carbon due to increase in the number of contributing structures to hyperconjugations. Thus the increasing order of stability of carbocations as shown in figure methyl is less stable than primary, then secondary and then tertiary. The third application is stability of free radicals. The stability of free radicals is influenced by hyperconjugation as in case of carbonium ions. The sigma electrons of the alpha carbon hydrogen bond can be delocalized into the p orbital of carbon containing an odd electron. Due to hyperconjugation, the stability of free radicals 
also follow the same order as that of carbonium ion that is methyl is less stable than primary than secondary than tertiary like this primary is less stable than uh, methyl is less stable than primary secondary and then tertiary next application is dipole moment and bond length the dipole moment of the molecule is greatly affected due to hyperconjugation since the contributing structure shows considerable polarity the bond length are also altered due to change in the bond order during hyperconjugation the single bond may get partial bond double bond character and vice versa example the observed dipole moment of nitromethane is greater than the calculated value due to hyperconjugation the observed carbon nitrogen bond length is also less than the expected value due to the same reason and this shows hyperconjugation is nitromethane the same argument can be applied to shortening of carbon carbon single bond adjacent to carbon nitrogen triple bond in acetonitrile and also the carbon carbon single bond and adjacent to the carbon carbon triple bond in propyne also note that the observed dipole moments are again different from there this shows hyperconjugation is acetonitrile and propyne this is acetonitrile and this shows propyne next application is reactivity and orientation of electrophilic substitution on benzene ring in toluene the methyl group releases electrons towards the benzene ring partly due to inductive effect and mainly due to hyperconjugation thus the reactivity of the ring towards electrophilic substitution increases and the substitution is directed at ortho and para position to the methyl group the no bond resonance forms of toluene due to hyperconjugation as shown in here this figure shows hyperconjugation in toluene from the this diagram it can be seen clearly that electron density on benzene ring is increased especially at ortho and para position since the hyperconjugation overpowers the inductive effect the substitution example nitration on the following di substituted benzene occurs ortho to the methyl group in the third butyl group there are no hydrogen on the carbon directly attached to the benzene ring hence it cannot involve in hyperconjugation next application is reverse hyperconjugation in case of alpha haloalkenes the delocalization of electrons occurs towards hydrogen group through hyper conjugative mechanism it is referred as reverse hyperconjugation the dipole moment of alpha haloalkenes are augmented due to this phenomenon and this shows reverse hyperconjugation next is homolysis and heterolysis we know that there are two ways to break a bond the electrons in the bond can be divided equally or unequally between two atoms of the bond breaking a bond by unequally dividing the electrons between the two atoms in the bond is called heterolysis or heterolytic cleavage heterolysis of a bond between a and b like this can give either a or b the two electrons in the bond where a 
and we have different electronegativities. The electron end up on the more electronegative atom as shown in figure. This shows hydrolysis of covalent bond. Now, salient features of hydrolysis. Hydrolysis requires energy. Hydrolysis generates two charge reactive intermediate that is carbocation and or a carbonyl. Both carbocations and carbonyl are unstable intermediates. A carbocation has a positive charge on carbon which is surrounded by eight electrons and this source formation of carbocations and carbonyls ion breaking a bond by equally dividing the electrons between the two atoms in the bond is called homolysis or homolytic cleavage and this shows homolysis of covalent bond this shows equally divide these electrons. Now, salient features of homolysis. Homolysis requires energy. Homolysis generates two uncharged reactive intermediates with unpaired electrons. A reactive intermediates with a single unpaired electron is called a free radical this is shows free radical and free radicals are highly unstable because they contain an atom that not have an octet of electrons and this shows formation of free radicals free radicals and carbocations are electrophiles because they contain an electron deficient carbon carbonyls are nucleophiles because they contain a carbon with a lone pair. Thank you.